Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today I've got a grocery haul for you. I did Walmart grocery pickup and I did a Kroger pickup order as well. So I'll show you what I got from both places and then I'll show you our meal plan for the upcoming week. So my total at Walmart was $70.59. Here's what I got. First up, I needed some more oil. So I got some canola oil, grabbed some dried cranberries, got some hamburger buns, I got this apple chicken baby food to add to Happy, he is our dog by the way, his little lick mat. Got some M&M Valentine minis, as well as some of these little sweethearts for a Valentine's treat I'm gonna make. My husband has been wanting a baby Ruth and they can be a little tricky to find, at least near us anyway. anyway. Um, not every grocery store or gas station rather has them. So I went ahead and got him a fun size pack so he can just have a little one whenever he's wanting one. Got a couple oranges, some lemons and limes, shredded coleslaw mix. I was running low on ground black pepper, so I grabbed that. Used up my last can of tuna yesterday, so I went ahead and got some to put in the pantry. Needed a can of enchilada sauce, so I grabbed that, and a can of the Walmart version of Rotel. Got a can of cream style corn for a recipe. Got some diced potatoes to keep in the pantry. Got a package of Jiffy corn muffin mix. And then down here, I got some white chocolate melting wafers for a Valentine's Day treat. Got some spreadable butter. This is the Lando Lakes olive, and olive oil and sea salt. Did I say mushrooms? I thought I didn't mushrooms. Um, a sweet onion. And here is some broccoli, cilantro, and a red bell pepper. Got some baby carrots to snack on. Sugar snap peas for a recipe and a snack on, and some celery for my husband. I'm gonna try it with Happy and see what he thinks of it. Got some blackberries, a little thing of buttermilk, some crescent rolls, got some blueberry Greek yogurt, sour cream, mixed vegetables, some honey turkey breast meat, and then I didn't need a lot, I just got this little cheapy. Is this buttig, bootage, whatever, um, just uh, deli meat. And then got a pound of ground chicken for Happy's food. And um, I've mentioned this before many times, but in case you're new, we do make Happy's dog food. I always have a video in my description box that explains how I make it and why I make it. Um, if you look down in the description box, past the, there's like a section where I put like some of my favorite kitchen tools and then there are like links to like my what's for dinner playlist the link to happy's video is down there um and then if you can't find it you can always comment and i'll shoot it to you no big deal um all right that's everything that i got from walmart let me show you kroger all right here's everything that i got from kroger i really only needed a couple things from there i mean i could have gotten them from walmart but i wanted to get it from kroger because of the prices um but one thing that i like to do and i mentioned this before is every week when the grocery stores around me that I frequent most often update their sales ads, I will check them. Now for me, usually that's on Wednesdays. So I'll just go through and see what's on sale. If there's something, you know, that I have in mind that I, I'm wanting to cook, like something that's maybe a little on the pricier end, like a steak or roast or fish or something like that. I'll see, is it on sale? Um, can I stock up on cheese? You know, whatever the deal may be. I also will look and see what coupons are available. Now Kroger uploads coupons to your account. They used to mail them out. Now they upload them. And just, you know, I just like to go in there and check. This week, I happened to go into my account and there was a $25 off coupon for a pickup order. You didn't have to get anything in, in particular. It was just $25 off. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a flipping good deal. And let me show you this. So if you can see here, my total at Kroger was $74.40 originally. And I got some really good stuff on there, like weekly digital sales. So that took off $14.84. And then you see that $25 coupon. So my total for this was $37. That's like, that's half off, more than half. So awesome, awesome deal. So, you know, like I said, check your sales check for coupons, shop things when they're on sale, um, and that can help the grocery budget quite a bit. All right, 
enough chatting. Let me show you what I got. So I got some all free and clear laundry detergent and some of the snuggle. And these were on sale this week. I want to say it was like $1.49 each. I didn't need them, but went ahead and grabbed them. I'll just put them in the laundry room to use them when I do need them. Got a couple apples, some slicing tomatoes, some bag salad. And this is one of the things that I said I could have gotten at Walmart, but Walmart can be kind of sketchy sometimes with their bag salads. Um, so I just got it at Kroger. Their cheese was on sale this week. I believe it was either $1.49 or $1.79. So went ahead and got stocked up. Got some Colby Sharp Cheddar and Colby Jack. I have been liking um, just to have some crackers and a little bit of meat and cheese to snack on. So I got this pre-cut Italian salami. And then I also got some of the cracker cuts. Yes, I know. I could have just got that, cut them up myself, but y'all do you. <laughs> I did me. Just to make it easy for myself, I went ahead and got the cracker cuts. Got some shredded mozzarella cheese, some fresh blueberries. I can't remember how much they were, but they were a good price at Kroger compared to Walmart. Got some turbinado sugar. I love sprinkling this on top of muffins, especially the crusties muffin mixes with a little bit of that sprinkled bacon in the oven. They taste just like a bakery muffin. So good. Got some grapes to have with my cheese. These were on sale. I love making sweet tea out of this. Um, this is the Country Peach Passion. Got a half loaf of half loaf. <laughs> half loaf of this nutty oat bread. Um Got this for the first time last week, and I really liked this. It was yummy. My husband actually liked it as well, so I went ahead and grabbed it this week. And these were on sale. can't remember how much. We'll put these in the garage for guests or if we want a little bit of soda. Some of the mini Coca-Cola bottles and the mini cans of Cherry Coke, which my husband likes. All right, that's everything from Kroger. Let me show you the meal plan. All right, here is the meal plan if you're new to my channel or my grocery hauls. Although I do list these in day order, I don't necessarily stick to it. I just like to plan them out to know when to thaw meat, when to marinate things, etc. I do move things around and I will pull from my freezer or pantry if there's just something we're not feeling that day. So first up, this is a carryover from last week. Just didn't get around to making it. I'm doing a balsamic uh, fig glazed chicken with some roasted baby potatoes and a spinach salad. Tuesday night, I'm doing a beef stir fry. I got just a little cheapy steak at a really good price at Food Lion a few weeks ago. And then I have a bag of frozen stir fry vegetables I need to use up. So we'll do that and maybe some rice or I have some egg rolls in the freezer. We'll see what we feel like that day. Wednesday, I'm doing a slow cooker spicy chicken and rice. We'll do probably broccoli with that. Thursday, this is a copycat Applebee's recipe. This is a crispy orange chicken bowl. They used to have this. They bring it back every once in a while, but it's not the exact same that it used to be. Um, but this was like my favorite thing ever to get there. Um, and I love making this from time to time. I've shared it before on my channel, but I want to share it again. It's so yummy and easy. Friday night, I got some prime rib burgers from Food Lion when I got the, uh, my mom went blank <laughs> the steak for the stir fry. So I'll thaw those out and we'll have that. And then to go along with that, I'm going to make some onion straws and sweet chili sauce. Ruby Tuesday used to have onion straws and the sweet chili sauce years and years ago. Oh my gosh, they were flipping delicious. But of course, like I say, they took it off the menu without asking me and that's not okay. But I found a copycat recipe that's pretty darn close. So we'll make that. Saturday, I am going to do blackened shrimp tacos. I saw these on Instagram. The lady's name, I believe, is plated by D. Everything she makes just looks incredibly delicious. I'll try to remember to link her Instagram down below. So we'll do the shrimp tacos and then just probably have like some chips and I've got some mango salsa in the pantry that I need to use up. So we'll probably do that. And then Sunday, I got a roasted chicken again at Food Lion when it was on sale. Not a roasted chicken, a whole chicken that I'm going to roast. And to go along with it, I'm going to try the corn casserole with the Jiffy cornbread mix and then probably some glazed carrots. All right, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.